there, young man. You Purdue? Grant Purdue. You like the place? I'm thinking. Yeah, so how are you mixed up with Marcano's organization? Friend, I own and run department stores. But with this economy, well, I've got a lot of extra inventory, clothes, electronics, you name it. An old friend, Artie Higgins, says to me, Grant, it's all insured. Let me take it off your hands. You mean you let him rob you? My trucks, yeah. It was just supposed to be a one-time deal, but heck, Artie just won't stop. I can't take the fall here. Where's Artie take the trucks? He never told me, but last time we talked, I got the impression he was going to offload them to someone else. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 fans? Grant, if I find your stuff, it's likely going up in flames. Oh, whatever you have to do to stop Artie. My gosh darn insurance has dropped me. Says I'm high risk. Can you believe that? <sighs> you bring me that truck, there's money in it for you. Artie's got some of his men working around South Downs. Thieves, all of them. I'll see what I can dig up. In the meantime, you stay out of sight. I really think you should see what Artie's guys know about my trucks. Could have swore I heard some. Huh? No trace of them. What? Couldn't find nothing. Me? Is that one of ours? No fucking it. way! For a little ride. What the hell is happening here? I want to know about all these hijacking racket. There's some units over here. Any available units? Report to an audio. Oh Jesus! Let me out! Let me out! Spill, let's go! I say one more and I'm a dead man! Sing bitch! I'm gonna fucking bomb! Give it up, cocksucker! I'll see you again. It's your ass. What are you doing back here? Got him. Oh, wait. Tussle with a motherfucker your own size. We got ourselves a guest. to come here. Back me up, boys! Cocksucker! Uh. Bastard got me trapped! Yeah, I don't fucking miss! Slip behind him! Yes, oh, oh, he's oh, fucked! Oh, Get me out of here! Look at all the blood! Get that stupid son of a bitch. He's gunning us 
Get yours. People have... You're a champ, aren't you? Look at this guy. Thanks for getting my truck back. Hey, say, can I set you up with the toaster? I think I'm all right. Adi called me a bit ago. Spent 20 minutes chewing my behind all the pieces. Told me he wanted to meet me at, um, Mama Rigetti's Bakery, wherever that is. Don't worry. Won't take me long to find it. I'm glad you're going after him. No one raises his voice at Grand Purdue, buddy. The nerve. Word to the wise, don't get in bed with mobsters. You'll live longer. Now, I don't want to tell you how to do what you do, but if Art is at the bakery, you should do something about it. We got anybody to hit this target in South Downs? Of course. Be there soon. You've made some poor choices in your life. God damn!
If I'm gonna keep hold of South Downs, I'm gonna need some help. Consider it done. Pleasure. They'll be there before you know it. Checking the place out. Marcano had a pretty good operation going here, but we'll work on putting it to shame. We know each other? Huh. You're sweet Danny Little. <laughs> you follow boxing? Some. A friend who worked for my old man was obsessed. Said you go to distance. You got that championship match coming up, right? Yeah, that's kind of why I need your help. These Marcano cats. Man, they got this dude called Two Dicks Peralta running a sports book out the Wilcox Saloon. Comes up to me while I'm sparring. Tells me I gotta go down in the fifth. Or else. What'd you say? She told him kiss my ass. Next day, somebody broke my brother's arm in three places. You all right? It's how they do. I hear two dicks even grabbed with that boy Eddie Kenner. Except I think two dicks got his eye on Eddie doing some off-book fighting for him. He hear things about nigga fights here and there. Make a lot of money if you know how those fights go in. Christ. I'll go after two dicks, people. See if I can find out more about how he runs things. Maybe even find Eddie. You better start talking to Peralta's people if you want to know what he's up to. money back. You're not supposed to be back here. Hmm. You see a welcome, sir? What's going on at the sports bar? The boss has been keeping some nigga fighter on ice. I can show you where. From now on, my crew is your crew. Simmer down some. You didn't, uh. Oh. You're dead. ass out of here before two dicks people come looking for you. I'm already fucking gone.
Folks don't want to place bets today. Two dicks came by the gym. Between getting Eddie free and whatever else you've been doing, the man is pissed. What'd he say? Got into it with one of the fighters. Pulled his gun, waved it around. Heard him tell one of his boys to be back at Wilcox Saloon. You go on and get back to training for that fight. I'll deal with that asshole. Go on. That asshole two dicks is waiting for you. in the streets you don't belong they should expect yeah, the police to do something about it yeah seems like just yesterday our boys fuck you home. doing back here move the fuck let's go take my shot with the Marcanos, huh? Yep. Can you send some guys to South Downs? Help keep it in our hands. Yes, sir, I'm there. Got it covered, pal. Uh, capo. That's when he turned his sights on Sal Marcano. Listen, it's like I said before. It's the same off who ran over in Vietnam. You want to bring down the dipshit in charge? You target their men and infrastructure. Eliminate their ability to fight back. And before they know it, they're standing there all alone. Ass hanging out in the wind. Relax and watch the game. Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> Gotta do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh, ah, uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> 
Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? He told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. He'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez, so make sure your shit's squared away. Yeah. Scary boy. Creeping and crawling all up on you. Just keep your eyes peeled in case this uh, Alvarez guy legs out in this direction. English. <laughs> See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm gonna put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You are the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying. I just spoke to him. He said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never going to let you out of this city. He's going to use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's going to kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you. Yeah. If you want to live through this, stick close to me. You understand? I see. <laughs> Reed, to get to my car. I can get us. No. We take mine. If it'll get you out of here, sure. Just keep your head down.
get over here. He's got him down. I'll blast the black off him. the last of them I think uh, yeah well anyway keep an eye out anyway you could have killed me put a bullet in my head and still fuck Marcan you got a question in there somewhere yeah why didn't you just didn't sit right look you didn't do anything to me as far as I can tell you just another person in the long line of folks Marcano's fucked over sometimes it's as simple as that okay okay thank you Lagan. What's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Salman Khan. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hey, tell that person. This who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm... All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear this city apart looking for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this. <laughs>